Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Martin, a senior editor at Experience Life. And in this installment of Order Out of Chaos, we're going to show you how we took my laundry room that was once chaotic and really frustrating and made it a welcoming and functional space. So I'm here today with Andrea Gerasimo, decluttering expert, and she really helped get this space in shape. So I'm just going to let Andrea talk because she has so many great ideas about what you can do to make even the smallest spaces in your house really, really welcoming and really easy to use. I think one of the most important things is to ask, what is this costing me as I'm coming in the entryway like you did or trying to fold my laundry? It is a small space, and all kind of messy, and yep. it's your laundry room. You didn't have a place to set the laundry basket or fold no. the laundry. Every time I walked in the door, you know, I have a laundry basket sitting here, but along with tons of shoes and coats and hats and mittens, and we're trying to balance around all the different things that were in here that didn't have a home. And to find homes for things was really a key for this, to have a place to put things. So what we did is we grabbed a bunch of bins, and we just came in and we got everything out of here. We started by clearing everything off the floor um, because then it makes it easy to move. Start surface level. Exactly. And I like to do it by category. Mm -hmm. So we took one bin and got shoes. shoes. We took um, how many ever bins it needed to get all the like laundry detergents and products. Mm -hmm. We took them all out into the other room where I'd set up some tables for sorting and we basically sorted into garbage and recycling, yep. donate, and things that were going to be disseminated. Most of it was coming back here into the laundry space, mm -hmm. but even then we divided it from the things that were gonna go onto the shelf above your sink yep. to another bin of stuff that would live in the closet yep. and then the kind of um, outerwear goods. Yep, and those things <coughs> went back in these different spaces. Exactly. Yep. And it's that willingness to take the time to think about it, to mm -hmm. notice, like, is this easy to get into or is it cumbersome, mm -hmm. that will allow you to create systems that are really long lasting. And once we did that, obviously, it was clean up and beautify and what have you. Some of the things that we did, like putting up the artwork yeah. here on the side of the machine, it's just beautiful and colorful. This thing has me so excited. Yeah. And that top, folding space. Ah. Created yep. bins there, has some gloves, room for shoes underneath. So we created a tray for the mail, and then the bowl for the keys and your laundry sink and shelves. I feel like we really brightened those up. And it's fun, hopefully repeatable, yes. and really much more efficient. My next project might just be a cupboard to start with, but I, can, I, like it. I support you. <laughs> start easy. Start easy. Thank you, Andrea.